I am so excited to be showing you guys this today. It has been forever since I have done a month in review, mainly because I have not finished anything worthy of showing for a month's completion. I really didn't want to waste your time or mine showing maybe two special drills that I got finished for the month. Um, I just didn't want to do that. Hey, you guys, it's Miranda from Diamond Painting with the Besties. I hope you are all doing wonderful. I hope your week is starting off well. I'm filming this on a Sunday, but you're going to see it on a Monday. Um, I hope you guys are having a good start to your week. Uh, don't those weekends always go by fast? Anyway, so let's get into it. I have quite a few finishes to show you for the month of February that I completed. And I'm actually going to show you some things I'm working on that... I really want to get done for the month of March. Um, this is going to be a really busy month for me, so I'm hoping that I can accomplish this goal. So um, these are not really in any finish order at all. I just have them on in a pile uh, to make it easier. So the first thing, um, and while you guys, you guys all know if you saw my post review that I did finish Myrtle, but we'll go over that. Um, I just want to kind of Get these other ones all right so i seriously don't know what just happened then my phone just stopped recording so this is going to be a two part um so the first one i got done was this little tiny 25 by 30 i think yeah 20 by 30 from timu um i thought it was really really cute um it didn't take me very long i just kind of worked on it while i was at bryant's and because of my hair is stuck on it um there was a little bit of glue on the edges so that's why i sectioned it off so it's just this cute little ghost with a coffin that says get in losers be perfect for rude crude and nude and neo wants to come and check things out um <clears throat> so i did change um minor things on here really the only thing i did is that i just made the lettering all one letter all one color and it doesn't really look like um the letters don't really look that great to me or if it's legible. So let me know down in the comments if you can read it. I can through the camera, just not so much up close. But <clears throat> like I said, it was super cute. Um, I got it off Timu. Um, it worked up really, really quickly. And I wish it was in a bigger size, but this is the size that I found it. So that I finished that one. Next. I did this little cute 30 by 30 partial with the gnome. Get my book out of the way, I don't need that. <clears throat> and this is from New Craft Day. It has 15 uh, special shapes and colors. It was really fun, it worked up quickly. Obviously these little rain droplets were my favorite part. Um, I'm not gonna be linking all of these below because I already have linked them in prior videos. So I do have them all in albums. So if you want to go to uh, budget friendly, um, then you like the budget friendly playlist. What is going on with my recording arm right here? Goodness gracious. Sorry about that, you guys. There, that is, this is all cats must have. gotten into this. I am so sorry. All right. Okay. Um, I, like I said, I had these linked below already in a post review, not in a post review, but in my budget friendly playlists. Um, just go to the new craft day ones. It's the most recent one. It should be in there. All right. This next one's from GBFKE. This one is super, super cute. I had so much fun working on it. It did take a little bit longer just because of all the different wavy lines, but it was a lot of fun, especially with these raised up flowers. They were my favorite part, um, along with these larger faceted rounds right here. There are 13 special shapes and colors in here, and it does have a couple other companion pieces that are coming um, in the mail. <clears throat> so you guys will see those soon. But yeah, I just thought this one turned out really, really nice and one of the best ones so far this year. <clears throat> All right, this next one is also from uh, GBFK, I believe. Maybe I should get my book out so you guys know which video or folder to go to. 
Um, let's see. Yep, it is from GBFKE. Um, I loved this one. The hair did take quite a while. I'm not going to lie. It really did. Um, and it was difficult to use a multi-placer just because of all the way, the lines and the way her hair is flowing. But these smooth, fast, these smooth yellow teardrops were a lot of fun. The AB half pearls. And then we have some faceted green marquees right here. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, that was just Neo trying to jump up on the counter and falling because he's fat and knocking a bunch of stuff over. Um, so anyway, as I was saying, this is from GBFKE. It was a lot of fun. Um, and it turned out really, really pretty. All right, next up is one of the first ones I had finished. This is also from GBFKE. It says a really pretty 30 by 30 uh, stained glass type of special, partial, um, with the poinsettias. This one was super, super quick, and the lines were done just so that I used a multi-placer the entire time for all of the crystals. And this one has 10 special shapes and colors, and it turned out really, really nice. I was happy with it, and it worked up very quickly. All right, this one is also from GBFKE. Um, I've really been enjoying the specials that have come out from them. Let me try and zoom in a little bit more. This really pretty butterfly. Um, you guys know I'm not really into butterflies, but I saw all the special drills that were going to be on it, so I had to get it. Um, plus, I know a lot of you guys do like this, the butterflies. But um, I was able to use a multi-placer throughout this entire one as well. And then there were tons of uh, specials in this one. And it made it really, really fun. This one had 17 special shapes and colors. It doesn't really look like it. Um, looking at it right now, finished. But I guess, yep, there was. All right. And then last but not least, um, I was able to squeak this finish in right before the end of the month. This is Myrtle. Um, I did a post review on it. I can link that. I will link that below in case you guys missed it. Um, I did this for the first ever Richard Lorenz um, event that was held over on Facebook with Cindy. Um, it was a lot of fun and I'm not going to go too much into it because I've already done a post review. So those of you that have seen the post review, you know, I don't want to bore you guys um, with going back over it. But I thought that it turned out really, really nice. Um, it did take me, you know, almost two months to complete, but you guys know I'm like forever busy. So this is what I have completed for the month of February. So I'm pretty proud of myself because like I said, I think I maybe only have done like three or four month in reviews um, because I just didn't have a significant amount of progress done on anything. So I'm going to flip this over now. Of course there's cat hair all over it. Yep. So anyway, don't mind that. Um, so now I'm going to show you the things that I have been working on, some whips and what I, these are, now I have other whips as well, but these are the ones I want to mainly focus on finishing for the month of March. So this first one, I just started it this past weekend. Um, I took it when I went out of town and this is Pet Shop from Mary Mayhu Shoju. And it's from Bella Art Danicol or Bella Art Diamonds. Um, it's a 36 by 49 centimeter square kit right here. And so far, um, it's been a lot of fun, really easy to work on. There is actually a little bit more confetti than I thought there would be, but it's not like overwhelming. So, so far, you know, I've just gotten this, I'm loving this peach background. Um, I got the little frog done that you can see over here. And I like the color palette for this one. You guys know I love witches. Um, Bella Art Diamonds just had a release of uh, 31 kits. There were some that they didn't want to release because they weren't to their standards, but they just released 31 kits um, this past weekend. So I'll link that their site below too. So you can go check this out, out the new releases as well as this one. So, you know, it's not very many sections. It should work up really, really quickly. Um, and I'm having fun working on it so far. All right, this next one. This one's going to be more of a challenge for me to finish 
for this month and it might be more of a long-term one but this is um never ending story by Curdy bell sorry it's from diamond dot diamond dot artistry let me zoom out and i was doing this for the retro cult classic um hosted by christopher and stacy this one has 46 colors and it is so confetti heavy it's like overwhelming that's why these smaller sections done my goal for the event was to actually work on one section per day um uh, that didn't happen um i realized that i'm a one kid at a time person unless it's like trying to finish like a whip and i can't work on two kits at once like as much as i want to i can't but so when i look at it just close up because we all know we should be looking at diamond paintings further away so you can definitely see through the camera or you guys can see how amazing it looks and how the obnoxious amount of confetti is all worth it in the end i still haven't figured out whether or not there's unnecessary confetti and this is my first kit from this company um, I'll go ahead and link uh, this company down in the description below as well. Um, there are two ABs in this one, and I haven't gotten to the AB section yet, I don't think. No, I haven't. But it's really, really pretty. Let me zoom in. My favorite part of what I have completed so far, obviously, I haven't done much. You can just see the bottom, but, like, I could not pass up doing... That's why I skipped this section over here. I had to do Falcor's eye. And so far, I know he is going to look amazing. I know this is going to look amazing once it's completed. It just may take me a while. So I'm hoping I can finish it this month, but who knows. All right, and my last one that I want to complete this month, you guys, I have been working on this for so long that I don't even have a start date in my logbook because I didn't start keeping a logbook until after um, I started working on this. But it's been a while. This is from DIY Moon Shop. Unfortunately, the shop is closed, but I'm still gonna work on my kits because they're amazing. This is from Sybil Art and it's Rainbow Bright. It's a 40 by 56 round with 32 colors. And it has one AB. It's a black AB, which I'm not a fan of. So what I've been doing is mixing uh, the black AB up with some regular um, AB drills. I mean, some regular black drills and kind of mixing up where I need to, unless it's like on her collar, because the black ABs kind of give off like a greenish blue um, color to it. So I didn't um, want to do certain things totally. So like in her eye, up here, I'll put this back. You can kind of see in her eye up here, I did mix that. This also, I did get this, the enhancement kit for this. And it's got some uh, glow in the dark and some like more like jelly type in here. So this star right here and this star, I think these either glow in the dark or they're just kind of like more like a jelly drill. But it's really fun. You guys, this is the only part I have left. So this will probably be my very first uh, finish for the month of March. Um, I can't just ignore it. I mean, there's literally like nothing left and I can get it done fairly quickly. Um, this does have some confetti in it, but I don't see any unnecessary. Um, it's coming out beautiful. Um, it looks really good. You know, uh, there's some, some parts where I can kind of see some of the black symbols through that, but that's definitely probably because of my placing and not because of the drills. Um, they've been really, really amazing and I'm loving this kit. Plus, you know, I probably should have worked on this one for the retro event, which has ended. Of course, I didn't finish, right? So, you guys, that is it for the month of March or February for me and my finishes and my three whips that I want to complete for the end of March. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please don't forget to like and share. And if you haven't already and you would like to consider subscribing, that would be amazing, too. But other than that, that's all I have for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Remember to be safe and be kind. Bye.